To create infographics report card, start by going to alicekeeler.com slash infographic report card. This will prompt you to make a copy. It can take some time for the infographic menu to show up. Be patient. Depending on the speed of your internet, it might take up to a minute. Before you start filling out the spreadsheet, you want to create slides. You're going to have to when you get to this screen, click on Advanced, and down here at the bottom where it says Unsafe, it's safe. I coded it personally myself. It's just saying that no one at Google has reviewed my code. You're going to Allow. Google Slides will be created. Click OK. And you'll notice here in the yellow box, use the View menu, go to Master, and you're going to modify the report card layout. This text box at the top where the student name goes, I recommend you do not delete it. I have coded for that to be where the student name goes. If you want, you can delete everything else on the layout and just design your own. I'm going to go to background, color, gradient, Choose a gradient and then go back and select custom so I can customize my gradient. I'm going to do linear. I'm going to have it go to a different shade of yellow and orange. And I want it to be 270. Okay, done. However you like it. You can change the text boxes or redo them. Choose a font that you like know how to use the placeholders. A text box is any text that's going to be for every student. So if I'm going to write overall score, change the font, make it bigger, that's going to be on every student's report card. But then the individual score, I want to make sure that I use a placeholder. So I'm going to click on body text placeholder, And then I can adjust the size. I can choose what font I want to use. And then add another text box. Where here I might describe student behavior. And again, I want to choose my font. That title is going to be on all the students' report cards. And then I want to add a body text placeholder for where my description of their behavior will go and I'll change that font font size you're going to want to add pictures and graphics you might want to add some shapes so some and then you may want to add a text box for different subjects math English, science, I'm not doing a very good job of this, and I'll add a body text placeholder for each of those where I'm going to put in that information. And I like to add my Bitmoji. Not doing a very good job designing this. Okay, so when I click out, I can see that it's set up to be the room. It doesn't have the information. So after I do that, I'm going to come back, go to the roster. Now I want to paste the roster. I'm going to paste my roster of students, but then I notice that they're all together. So if I use this little clipboard, I can split text to columns and I'm going to split it by space. But now I have a problem in that it's first name and then last name. So I'm going to highlight these, control X, control V, and then I'm going to control X, 
and control V so I can move them back into place. So I've got my roster set up, but I don't want to put in any information yet. I first want to go to the menu and choose test. When I go back to the slides, I can see that it has created a test slide. And so box five is where the overall score goes. So going back to the spreadsheet, box five is overall score. Back to the slides, I see my student behavior is box three. So I'm going to come back, student behavior is box three, and then math is box four, English is box one, and science is box two. So once I've mapped from the test slide which each column box goes, then I can start filling out information. So does a wonderful job, at sets up experiments and tries, lovely to have in class, uses mathematical reasoning, and a score of an A. So for each student, I'm going to click, so for English, uses semicolons correctly, and then I'm going to hit tab to go to the right. So tab takes me to the next column, Set. I'll use the same comment, tab, participates well, tab, uses mathematical reasoning, and an overall score of B. So I've tabbed from each column so that when I push enter, it takes me to the next student so I'm ready to input their information. Once I have everybody in there, and I'm going to cheat and copy and paste the same thing for all students, I go to the infographic menu and choose push comments to slides. So all of this information from the spreadsheet, like magic, is going to show up in the Google Slides. So notice over here on slides as I scroll down, I have every student. I'm going to hit grid view. I'm going to zoom out so I can see that I have 53 graphic report cards all ready to go. Now how am I going to distribute this to students because clearly I'm not going to share all the report cards with all of the students. So one option you have is for each student I go file, download as, PNG and that will download it as an image file that I can do something with or I can just control P print and print them out.